What is up, Revview family? I miss all of you so much, but I'm really excited to be speaking a little message and delivering it to you today via YouTube. Before we get into the message, I want to encourage all of you, follow us right now on Instagram, at RevYouthSD. We have an amazing devotional going on. We have amazing TikToks happening, so follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be speaking a message called, I have 99 problems and worry is not one. Why don't you tell someone next to you? I have 99 problems. I got issues, you got them too, but worry is not one. You see, growing up in a Mexican household especially, when your mom and your dad cook food for you, if you leave any food on the plate, you're in big trouble. My parents always told me, Alex, if you leave any food on the plate, it's a sin. God is watching you and it's horrible. But you know what? Something that um, impacts me about that saying that they've told me is that worry is a waste. Worrying does nothing for you. It, in, in fact, it just takes away from you. So I wanna encourage all of us here today to get into the word of God and let's see what the Bible says about worry. So I'm gonna be in the book of Matthew chapter six, verses 25 to 30-ish, 30-ish, because there's gonna be multiple. And right here it says, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. I want you to say that to yourself. Do not worry, let me hear you say it, do not worry about my life. What you will eat or drink or about your body or about what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? That's so powerful. The last verse that it says is that worrying does nothing to your life. Worrying doesn't add anything to you. It only takes away. And there's another powerful verse in John, and it's John 10:10, 10, 10, and it says that the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give you life and life abundantly. So if there's anything stealing anything from you, robbing anything from you, that's from the devil. So I want to encourage every single one of us to ask ourselves, what is stealing my joy? What is robbing me from having purpose in my life? That's from the enemy. So I wanna encourage every single one of you today to not worry about the small things in life, but instead focus on God and all the good things that he's already done for you. So today I wanna to share three points, three questions that we need to ask ourselves to avoid having worry in our lives. And the first thing is, who has your heart? You see, God works through our hearts so much. And I wanna ask you, who has your heart? Does Instagram have your heart? Does a boyfriend, does an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend have your heart? Or does God have your heart? God wants to have your full heart and God cares about your heart. God says in the, in the, in the scripture, it says that man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. God doesn't care about everything that you're wearing or the car that you drive or the clothes that you have or if you have a six pack or not. God doesn't care about that. God is asking you, how is your heart? So today I wanna ask you guys, who has your heart? And the second thing I wanna ask every single one of you here today watching is, who has your mind? Because I wanna encourage every single one of us today is to give God our mind. You see, our minds go everywhere. And the truth is, is that whatever we watch comes from our heart. So when I watch YouTube, my heart is invested in YouTube. I love The Voice. I'm into The Voice right now. We have a new season going on and I'm spending hours and hours watching these videos. But the truth is, is that whoever has your heart has your time and also has your treasure. So I wanna encourage every single one of us here as your home, who, what are you spending your, your time on? What are you spending your mind on? Are you, are you just reading Instagram comments? Are you just reading and watching TikToks? Or are you reading the word of God? Are you, are you talking to your family? Are you spending quality time with your family? Or are you just spending time with friends via FaceTime? And the last thing is, who has your time? There's a saying that was told to me and it says, show me where your time is and I will show you what you value. You see, we all have 24 hours in a day. Bill Gates has 24 hours in a day, and he's a billionaire. Me, I'm not a billionaire, but I have 24 hours in a day. But all of us choose what we do with our time. And where your time goes, that, that shows what you value. So I wanna ask you guys today, out of the 24 hours in a day, where is your time going? Is it going to Instagram? Is it going to TikTok? Because if that's where it's going, that's what you value. And if I'm being completely honest, if we spend all of our time on social media, it's probably because we're not secure in who we are and we want, we want to find our identity in other people. We look, we, you, you, you post a photo on Instagram 
and you're already waiting for captions, you're waiting for comments, you're waiting to see how many likes. And the truth is, is that we're so worried about what other people are thinking, and we have no idea of what God has already said about us. God has already told you that you're loved. God has already told you that you're called and made for a purpose. So why is it that we spend all of our time trying to find our identity in social media when we need to be finding our identity in God? Rev Youth, I hope this little message inspired you to just live better, to think about where you're spending your time, to think about who has your heart and who has your mind. If there's one thing that I wanna share with you and just closing off today is, give God your heart. Not just half of your heart, but your full heart. And our heart involves our time. Our heart involves our mind. So give God your heart, give God your mind, and give God your time. Let's pray today. Jesus, I just want to say thank you so much for being a faithful father. I pray that we are able as a, as a, as a youth community, as just young people of faith, that we can give you our time, that we're saying goodbye to Instagram, that we're saying goodbye to useless stuff on social media, and that we're allowing this time to be useful, and we're giving our, our full heart, our full attention to you. We pray for our friends at school. as They're not at school right now as they're at home. I pray that you protect them, that you favor them. And as, as we're at home alone, I pray that there's no temptation. There's no distractions distracting us from getting closer to you. We love you. We thank you so much for this amazing day. In Jesus' mighty name we say, amen. Rev Youth, thank you so much for taking a look at this video. We have many more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Love you and God bless you.